Hello, and a welcome to another episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add another user account. Now, the user accounts are used to personalize each person that's using the computer. Uh, you can have more than one account on here, and I will show you uh, how it's done. First thing you need to do is bring up the charms bar. Move your cursor to the upper right hand corner and you'll see the charms bar pull up. And then all you have to do is move your cursor down to the bottom and go to settings. Now with this menu up, you go down here to the very bottom right and go to change PC settings. Here, you bring up the PC settings that you can change. Here, I'm going to go to Accounts. Here, this is your, uh, your current account that you're logged into. And we are going to go down to Other Accounts. Here is where you can add another account. You click on that. Now you enter the, the address that the person will be using. You also have an option to sign up for a new email address if they do not have one. You can also add a child's account. What this will do is put restrictions on the account as to what they're allowed and not allowed to do. You got the privacy statement and you can also sign in without a Microsoft account. They do not recommend it, but it does give you the option. Once you enter the information, choose next. Now once you click next, it's going to uh, wait and sign in. and then you just create the additional information here that they're going to be using it's similar to cre uh, setting up your account when you first started Windows 8 once you click next with the previous information about the first name username the email account and then you're going to choose a password for the account Next, it's going to give you security information. Again, this is just like when you set up Windows 8 to begin with. Uh, it gives you, it asks for certain information. So, in the event you forget your password, you will be able to get the password reset using the security information you provide here. Once you provide the appropriate information, click Next. Next, you do the communication preferences. All this is is you have to type in what the characters that you see in the box, and then you can choose uh, the other options if you want to enhance the online experience, and if you want to send promotional offers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, then you click Next again. Once you verify it, it's going to bring it up to your add new new user list. Now it will show on here that the following user will be able to sign into this PC. As you can see here, I named it ES Repair Demo to demonstrate how this is going to work. Now you can also check down here if this is a child's account, and what this will do is turn on Family Safety to get reports of their PC use. So if you do have a child that you're going to have using this computer, you can check this and it will allow you to monitor what they do and when they use it and all that good stuff. Now you click finish and it's going to add the user. Now once it's done, as you can see, it brings it back up to here. Now this is the additional account that you see. 
and it shows you the status that the account is under. Now you can also, if you click on it, you can either remove the account or you can add it. If you click edit, you can choose the account type. You can choose if they're an administrator, if they're just a standard user, or if it's a child. I'm going to change it to standard user and then click OK. And then this way you can actually keep track of the accounts. Now once the account is created you can uh, click on add an, uh, an account and go through the same process. And you can add as many accounts that we'll be using on this computer. Now keep in mind that if you do forget your password it does give you an option on to resetting it which I will have that in a different video. Once it is, you have the account created you can go back to uh, your start screen and then you can click on your account. Now you can change your account picture, you can lock the computer and you can sign out. You can also switch users. All you have to do is click the account. Then it's going to bring you back to the sign in page. All you have to do is sign in and then click the arrow to continue and you can uh, sign in to the other account. Once you sign into the account, now you can wait, just wait for it to log you in, and then it'll bring you to the start screen. Now, because this is a new account, you have to wait a little bit for it to uh, set up the new desktop for the new user. Now, once it gets set up, you're going to see the message that says, let's start, and there you have it. Now, you have your new account all set up to where you can make changes to the account as you see fit. Now, if you were to sign out, all you have to do is click your icon. Again, it shows a current status. It shows that both users are logged into this computer. Now I can go ahead and choose sign out. And then it brings you back to your start uh, window to where it just shows you your time and the date. Now it brings you to the sign in page to where you can choose which account you want to sign into. You select it and enter the password for that account. And there you go. Now you can sign back into your account and then continue. Now that, that is all there is you have to do to add the account. Now if you want to remove the account you basically do the same thing. All you have to do is go to uh, open your charge bar Go to settings, go down to change PC settings, and then you'll go back to your uh, account. As you see here, just go to the account and it will bring you back to here and go to other accounts. Now you can sh choose this. If you edit, again, you can choose the account type, or you can sit here, just click remove. And it's going to confirm if you're sure you want to delete the account and all the data associated with the account. Now, it will be removed all their data from the PC, including items on their desktop. Downloads, documents, photos, anything that they've created will be deleted. Now, if it hasn't been backed up or saved to another location, such as another PC, it will be lost. This is just a confirmation of the account you're going to delete. Once you confirm it, choose account, delete account and data.
And that is all there is to do. And that's it. This concludes this video. I've showed you how to add an account, a user account, and how to change the status of the account if it's a child, if it's a standard user, or if it's an administrator. And I've also shown you how you can uh, edit and change the account and how to remove the account if you no longer need it. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.